The following religious program is being brought to you by the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. The contents of this program are solely those of the sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, here in the United States of America, now presents the Worldwide Truth of God television program with the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. This program is intended to enlighten and edify you about the Holy Scriptures and the will of God for the salvation of your soul. Give careful consideration to the many subject matters of this program and join us each week for the truth, preaching God's Word, the Bible. Though the storms keep on raging in my life, and sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day. Still, that hope that lies within is reassured.
Jesus Christ. This, ladies and gentlemen, is again the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television Hello. program. It's a pre-recorded program that comes to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our headquarters church is located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Nostia salutation to nos auditeurs francophones au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous sommes la vérité de Dieu, programme radiophonique avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Saludos a todos nuestros. Radio escuchas de habla hispana en el nombre de Jesús Cristo. Este es el programa radial, verdad de Dios, con el pastor Gino Jennings. We ask you to bow with us as Minister Philip Williams of Rocky Mount, North Carolina, will now lead us in prayer. Help the Father, yes, Lord Jesus. in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, yes, Lord Jesus. we do praise you, we do adore you. Yes, Lord. We thank you for this day. Yes, Lord. We ask Heavenly Father that you will have your way in this day. We pray, Heavenly Father, you will touch our hearts, yes, Lord. touch our minds. Help us to surrender all into you, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will touch the listeners' hearts, touch their mind, Lord Jesus. That they may hear the word of God. That they may give up all this sin unto you, Lord Jesus. And cry out, what must I do to be saved? We do praise you, we do adore you. We thank for the man of God, Lord, Pastor Geno Jennings. We ask you will continue to touch his heart. Give him strength, Lord. We do praise you, we adore you. We ask you to touch the reader, Lord Jesus. Brother William, Lord, anoint him the more, Lord Jesus. We do give a name to praise the Lord for all of thy people. We ask, Lord, for a special blessing, Lord, upon your people, Lord. Help us all to be obedient to all of your commandments. Do give your word in the name of praise and all the honor. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is God Almighty, let everyone say, Amen. If you just join us, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. This is the pre-recorded program coming to you from the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. You're also witnessing the concluding services of our 20th International or National Women's Convocation. Uh, it's being recorded on the afternoon of June the 25th, the year 2006. Uh, this afternoon, we're on site at uh, the Hampton High School, that's the Hampton High School, uh, located at uh, 1491 West Queen Street. That's 1491 West Queen Street in Hampton, Virginia. And again, you're witnessing the uh, concluding services of our 20th National Women's Convocation. At this time, we're going to be favored with a selection from uh, one of our sisters. Uh, her name is uh, Sister Ruth Sampson, Sister Ruth Sampson of Newport News, Virginia. She's going to render a selection onto us entitled, We Shall Behold Him. The stars shall unfold, preparing his entrance. The stars shall applaud him with thundering praise. The sweet light in his eyes shall enhance those that are waiting, and we shall. Yes, we shall 
yes, we shall behold him. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we shall behold him. Face to face, face to face. And the sleeping, we're gonna rise with a thundering wave. And those who remain shall, hallelujah, oh yes Lord, we're gonna be changed in one moment yes Lord oh radio and television program. This is a pre-recorded program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings, our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. You're also witnessing the concluding services of our 20th National Women's Convocation. That's our 20th National Women's Convocation. Uh, it's being held right here uh, in the uh, city of uh, Hampton, Virginia. Uh, specifically, we're at 1491 uh, West Queen Street, which is the Hampton High School. 1491 West Queen Street in Hampton, Virginia. Again, this is uh, the 20th uh, National Women's Convocation convening this year, uh, the year 2006 uh, in Hampton, Virginia. And specifically, we're at the Hampton High School, the address 1491 West Queen Street in Hampton, Virginia. Now you can write or email us for any of the following, a current listing of all our radio and television stations, a listing of our church locations both within and outside the United States, a listing of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings, and the Truth of God magazine is called, it's our fourth edition, and that's available for 10 US dollars. A cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five US dollars for those writing to request copies of our broadcast. Uh, we do always ask that you address your correspondence to uh, Pastor Gino Jennings. That's Pastor Gino Jennings, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19125. That's our street address. I uh, would like you to redirect your correspondence to our post office box address. That's our post office box address. That's PO Box 7745. Once again, 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19125. 
1.01. That's the address if you wish to receive uh, information about our broadcast or our, our programs that you see recorded on the air. Once again, today's or tonight's program number is 726. Uh, you're witnessing program number 726. Now, if you desire to have the gospel preached in your area in person by Pastor Jennings or have questions regarding this program or simply regarding the scriptures, again, you may address all your correspondence to First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our P.O. Box address is 7745, again, 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. You can also visit us on the internet. Uh, go to the web and visit our website at www.truthofgod.com. Once again, go to the web and visit our website at www.truthofgod.com. Uh, there you find both audio and video versions of our past broadcasts. Uh, failing that, we'd like you to uh, pick up the phone and give us a call. It's toll free. It's 1-888-231-2201. Once again, pick up the phone and give us a call at 1-888-231-2201. And that number will be displayed uh, on screen throughout the course of our broadcast. You can also email us. Our email address is truthofgod at errols.com. Once again, you'll also see this on screen. Our email address is truthofgod at errols.com. Once again, send us an email, and as always, we ask that you send us a short email because of the tremendous number of emails that we do receive. Once again, our email address, uh, truthofgod at errols.com. And very few quick words to our, our French speaking listeners. No sense salutation to nos auditeurs francophones au nom de Jesus Christ. Nous sommes la vérité de Dieu, programme radiophonique. Avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Cette mission vous parvient de la première église, Notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, située à 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, à Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 1975, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. La voie plan du salut du Dieu du monde, le repentez et le baptême dans l'eau, au nom de Jésus-Christ, pour l'absolution de vos péchés, et que vous recevez le cadeau du Saint-Esprit comme le décrit dans la Bible. Nous vous invitons à notre clair pour recevoir une documentation gratuite. En français ou en anglais, est titulé « Êtes-vous honnête, femme prédicatrice et Jésus-Christ est Dieu tout puissant ?» Encore une fois, nous vous rappelons notre adresse, première église, notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. 24, 31, Frankfurt Avenue, à Philadelphie, Pennsylvanie, 1925, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. Dieu vous bénisse, nous espérons avoir de bonnes nouvelles très prochainement. That's to our French-speaking listeners across the globe. We'd just like to remind you that you're listening to and witnessing the 20th National Women's Convocation. Our 20th National Women's Convocation uh, being held this year in Hampton, Virginia. Uh, specifically, we are, we're at the Hampton High School. And uh, this recording is being made on the afternoon of June the 25th, the year 2006. Now I'm honored to present you the Servant of God, and General Overseer, our leader, teacher, guide, and he's the messenger of the Almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennis. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We are thankful again to the one God for his divine wisdom and his perfect and infallible understanding of all things. We thank him for sending to us his prophets. We thank him for the revelation he has revealed to his servants, the apostles. <clears throat> Most of all, we thank him for the greatest of all religions that is in the earth today, which is the way of holiness. There's nothing like it. <clears throat> There's nothing close to it. Amen. Out of all the religions of the world, practically all religions make it a habit to abstract something from the scriptures. Amen. To try to give that religion some reality, some foundation, something concrete. But we don't believe in abstracting some things Man. from the scriptures. We believe that all the scriptures are true and all the scriptures are correct. <clears throat> we are thankful to be in the closing of this women's conference, the 20th National Women's Holy Convocation. Amen. Uh, it has been a blessed meeting all Amen. week. <clears throat> of a truth without controversy the spirit of the living god have been with us Hallelujah. in this week's meeting Amen. and the uh, book of scripture teaches us where the lord is there's liberty Amen. 
To my television viewers that are watching, we're glad to come back in your home, in your church, in your place of business, in your car. Many times I'm riding through Philadelphia, people ride by me who may not know it's even us in the car. Blasting the broadcast on audio or on CD. And Right on 95, you can see it. Some folks watching DVDs in their truck or in their car, right on, and they monitor in their uh, manner of transportation. But the message is far reaching. Amen. I want to greet our brothers and sisters that are listening throughout Great Britain, in the UK, throughout Africa, and different parts of uh, the Philippines and other parts of the world, throughout America, where I have hundreds of thousands of television viewers that love the truth as well as hundreds of thousands of enemies that hate the truth. Mm -hmm. I thank God for you too Amen. because some of you that are my enemies now you'll be my friends later. That's right. Amen. That's I just right. give you some time for the devil to come out of you. Amen. <laughs> Bible said God know them that are his, didn't it? Amen. Yes, sir. Some of you that are upset now, you may not know it, but you'll soon be in my hands or the hands of one of my brothers going down in water. In the name of the Lord Jesus, and soon that thing you see that have us moving will have you moving. That's right. Amen. And you'll bear witness there is no God but one. Amen. And he's master of all creation, and he and he alone is worthy to be worshipped. He alone is worthy of all honor. He alone is worthy of all praise. There is no rivals. That any God that is set up by men cannot be a qualified, certified rival Amen. against the God of heaven and earth. Amen. So to the brothers and sisters that are watching, to you that are looking in Jamaica, God bless your Caribbean heart. Right. Jamaica, be on the lookout for our arrival in August. The ad just to come on the screen, if it's not there already, it'll be the Jamaican West Indies Holy Convocation. It'll be held at the local temple there in the St. Elizabeth Parish, if I'm correct. Bogue. Uh, in Bogue. So the address be on the screen. Invite your pastor. In fact, you too, preacher. You too, preacher. Amen. You come because you need it That's right. just as much as the people. Amen. That way you can come and get the right stuff. Then you can go carry the stuff back Amen. to your church so your church can rid itself of that germ that you have caught called fossilitis. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You see, there's, there's a virus that's around called fossilitis. Amen. Contracted. The devil gave it to preachers. That's right. Oh, yeah. God, you don't slept with the mingle with the devil so long, you contracted fossilitis. Amen. And now it's spreading among your congregation. Amen. I see the symptoms that's among them. Amen. Symptoms cause you to have unbelief. That's, That's right. right. Full of unbelief. <coughs> so, to my Jamaican West Indy churches and viewers, <coughs> you Rastafarians and other viewers, That's right. I'm invited to be a guest on a militant television program in Jamaica. <coughs> and I'm told that this preacher is known for chopping and dissecting <laughs> Uh, men who claim they know scriptures. Amen. That's my type of man. Amen. Amen. I'm told that there are many renowned preachers that came from other parts of the country that been on his program and he have dissect them and just chopped them up and just grind them down to absolute nothing. Uh -huh. Me and him going to get along very well. Amen. <laughs> oh, because when it comes to the word of God, that's, that's my life. That's my Feel. That's right. It's a field that the God of heaven had put us in. So I'm looking forward uh, to meeting this gentleman. And I do hope the television viewers that's in Jamaica, you all are welcome. I don't care who you are, what you are. If you're a woman preacher, you're welcome too. Uh, whether you're a Trinitarian, Baptist, Methodist, Mormon, Muslim, Moorish American, followers of Noble Drew Ali, it doesn't matter. All of you are welcome. To my viewers throughout the South that watch this program, keep watching. Florence, South Carolina, we'll be back in your area. The National Men's Convention. 
will be taking place this year, the last week of August. Keep watching television viewers, the dates will be coming up. It'll be held in Florence, South Carolina at the Florence, South Carolina local temple. The address is 1010 Gibbs Avenue and I believe the closing of the temple <coughs> to hold a capacitive crowd will be held elsewhere if I'm not mistaken. But keep watching for the address. All of you men down there in the South and you that believe you are men and you that are uncertain That's right. about your manhood, your status of the male agenda, you are welcome to come also, I advise all fathers to bring your sons. Amen. I advise all mothers to bring your sons. Amen. Women, bring your boyfriends. Mm -hmm. uh, wives, bring your husbands. Mm -hmm. Because today there's a shortage of men. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Uh, without question, there's a shortage of men. You have more that bear the title men. But a true man is one that's willing to love God and one that's not afraid to strive to obey God. Amen. To our sisters, we thank God for you. Wonderful. And to the many, yeah. many, many sisters that are not here, well, this telecast is dedicated to all of our sisters that are here and to our sisters that are in India and to other parts of America, Canada, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, and throughout the world where the truth of God is just digging up people and resurrecting the dead. Amen. Amen. Television viewer, you're watching the resurrection. Amen. Did you hear what I tell you? That's right. You are watching the resurrection. Amen. I am not talking about the mass resurrection when Jesus come oh, no. and present unto himself a glorious church. That's right. Resurrection takes place every day. Because to be resurrected is to be revived. Amen. Right. The book of scripture teaches us that we were dead in trespass and in sin. Amen. Where in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the powers of the air, the spirit that now work in the children of disobedience. All of us need to be resurrected from what Amen. from the dead from sin release or freed from the clutches of the enemy Amen. so whatever religion you are and i'm pretty sure i have millions of religious scholars and preachers and rabbis and imams and monks and priests and bishops and apostles and whatever other title you want to give yourselves that watch this telecast on a daily basis. I want to thank the thousands upon thousands of uh, writers, you that have wrote us letters from around the world and the thousands of emails yeah. that constantly come in. Your mail that express your love to the truth and I am equally touched hmm. by the letters I get to express your hatred to the truth. When I read your hateful, disgusting, despicable overwhelming letters you touch my heart amen you, you make me feel very good and spiritual <laughs> when you write me telling me your hate that's right towards the word of god because i know that in order for you to hate the word of god god said something mm -hmm. right. that touched you amen. and god told you something that you know you don't want to do. That's right. But now you're faced with something that you know you have to do, and now you have to make a choice. That's right. Between God's way and your way. That's Amen. right. Now, as always, we have some letters. I want to uh, get to you television viewers and answer as much mail as I can. I know many of you, as I've said on many occasions, have watched it same program over and over and over well that's all right you can never get enough of the same stuff right. you know when something good it doesn't matter if it's repeated but if it's good you never can get enough of it that's right is that right that's right, right. Uh, so you can never get enough of the truth of god it is the greatest thing since television been television Amen. it is not a play it is not pre-rehearsed 
right. it is hardcore rough scriptural truth that's yeah. right it is no blessing with your name on it that's right it is no blessing plan it is no one save always save it is none of that stuff it is God way presented to you plain direct raw straight not diluted with water that's right not pre-sweetened it's just salt that's right God Almighty teaches us that salt is good that's right so this is what we have to offer you now my advice to you television viewers if by any chance we are too hard too vulgar too vocal too outspoken then there is a large selection of devil made preachers that is on your television down that's right now if you want to go to hell and just love your journey to hell I advise you don't watch the truth of God Amen. That's right. Because the truth of God is designed to rescue you from hell. That's right. But if you just want to go there, this program is not for you. Amen. Somebody say, well, yeah, I got a mind to go to hell. Who you recommend that I watch? Every other preacher. <laughs> right. Bar none. Bar none. Amen. Every other preacher, including your pastor. That's right. There's only one truth. That's right. How do you define truth? God. Amen. Amen. That's right. The true definition of truth God. is God. Amen. Outside of God, there is no truth. Amen. All right, Dan the man, he got his letters ready. So we're going to dive into some and try to answer as many questions as we possibly can. Amen. I know some of you already is furious and upset over the few remarks that was already made. You're pacing the floor. Just sit down. That's right. Sit down. Don't look at the television as if I can see you. I don't see you, but just sit down. Sit down. You got your beer in your hand. Don't open it. That's but right. just sit down. Amen. Woman, hey, you land in bed with your second husband or your third husband. Tell him to get out the bed and let him go sit down. You pull your sheet up and watch the program and perhaps you'll get ready to pack your clothing and go for a long journey home. Amen. Right. All right, Dan, let's get busy and see who out there that's watching feathers we can ruffle. Amen. All right, let's have it. Uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yes. This person says, Dear Pastor Jennings, I am a police officer here in Philadelphia. Wonderful. With all the violence and ignorance I see in people, I find myself getting caught up in it also. But thank God for your ministry about the truth of God. I would like to visit your church, but I don't know when, though. Your schedule, traveling around in different areas, makes it difficult to know if services will be held in Philadelphia. Well, listen, I travel much through many parts of America and many foreign countries around the world. But because I'm not in Philadelphia, service don't stop. Right. We have ministers that still minister to the people. So service still go on. It's the same way uh, we have branch temples in different parts of America and still building more right. uh, and in foreign countries. But I am not spirit, so I can't be everywhere. Right. So because I'm not in these other locations, still service go on. So my police officer, you're welcome. In fact, the whole police department that's right. You're welcome. You're welcome to come. Uh, whether you see me or not, you're welcome to be there. Our services go on Tuesday and uh, Thursday and brother's class on Wednesday. So whether I'm there or not, uh, I just want you to get that straight. If I'm not there, it doesn't matter. The doors are still open. Right. All right. Jamaica West Indies. Yes. Uh, this subject is on, generally speaking, this person says, mm -hmm. you stream into my bedroom every Saturday morning, and I'm disturbed that there is a branch of your church in my country. <laughs> we have you enough are... confusion. Hold it, hold it now. <laughs> they said I come in their bedroom every Sunday, and now they are disturbed that we have church in Jamaica. Uh -huh. Interesting letter. All right, let's hear what they have to say. I'm disturbed that there is a branch of your church in my country. I'm, I want to say, my writer, I'm very touched. Amen. And I'm very thankful 
that I have the opportunity every Sunday to disturb your house. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. We have enough confusion here without you adding to it, she says, or he yes. says. But it seems we intend to maintain our record of having the most churches here per square mile. Mm -hmm. What is your doctrine apart from men rule the world? I don't believe. I'm not into men ruling the world. Amen. For women, by scriptural law, have authority to rule kingdoms as well. Amen. You had queens in the Bible, one by the name of Sheba. That's right. Amen. Another by the name of Candace. Mm -hmm. Another by the name of Esther. That's right. Amen. You had women warriors, one by the name of Judith. That's right. You have good, strong women who all Israel had to fight for. You had one by the name of Susanna. Susanna. That's right. So, uh, no, I am not a male chauvinist. I believe that if a woman was to run for the presidency, mm -hmm. I believe that a woman can be a president. Amen. Certainly she can. She can be a queen. She can be a president. Just our objective is plain and simple. All laws that is put forth by kings, queens, presidents, governors, or, or mayors, mm -hmm. our belief is plain and simple. That whatever decision you make, you first should investigate the decisions that God have already made. That's right. That's right. And then let whatever bill you pass that you want to be law already be in correspondence with the existing laws that God have itemized in the scriptures. That's okay. right. All right, come on, Dan. She says, or he says, obviously, well, that explains the mess we're in, wouldn't you say? No. What explains the mess that you're in is because you won't obey God. Amen. Amen. Jamaica is full of hell. Jamaica is of the devil. Mm -hmm. It is because you Jamaican folk won't obey God. That's right. it. Now, let us use some good sense. You mentioned in your letter that there's a lot of churches there. Mm -hmm. Then why is Jamaica still in the mess? Amen. That's right. You have churches there, you have mosques, you have synagogues. Mm -hmm. The problem is, you have what is called religion. That's right. But it is the religion of God that you people lack. That's right. right. Not just in Jamaica, but in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. Why you have churches all over the place, mm -hmm. packed. You go to New York, where you have so many row houses. That's right. Amen. You can have a whole row of churches. Amen. Synagogues, Pentecostal, Apostolic, non-denominational, Methodist, Episcopalian, Lutheran, Christian Science, Mormon, Seventh-day Adventist. That's right. right. And all of them will have something different. That's right. So viewer, I'm not your problem. Amen. The devil is your problem. Amen. God has given straight commandment. Listen, listen at the scripture. In the book of 2nd Estrus chapter 7 and at verse 21. Listen. For God has given straight commandment. God has given crooked commandments. God has given straight commandments. Crooked commandments. Straight commandments. God has given straight commandments. To such as came. To such as came. What they should do to live. Straight commandments. That's right. You see the religion of men, Jamaica, is crooked. Amen. Amen. The religion of men is crooked. Any religion that teaches you to deviate from God, Amen. that religion is a crooked religion. Amen. Nevertheless, nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. Do you hear that? That's right. Yeah. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. But speak against him. But speak against him. And imagine vain things. Now, this is why we are needed. Listen, listen, my Jamaican television viewer. We are needed in Jamaica. Amen. I said the truth of God is needed in Jamaica. Amen. To straighten out everything else that have deviated from the book. Amen. All the bishops, all the homemade apostles, all the women preachers. You looking at me now, woman. Yes, you are. That's right. Yes, you are. You got your lipstick on now, drinking your Jamaican rum. Amen. That's right. Getting ready to go to your Pentecostal church so you can scream to the people on Sunday morning. Amen. I've been in Jamaica flipping through the television. I saw you Jamaican women claim your preachers all on television, hollering, Amen. screaming. That's right. And you poor excuse of handicapped men Amen. sitting there being 
led by women. That's right. Amen. Amen. So I said, a woman must have done something to you mighty bad in life. <laughs> That's right. No, not at all. Amen. We believe that men should have their prospective place in the earth by God's law. That's right. We believe that women should have their prospective place in the earth by God's law. That's right. Amen. All right, come on, Dan. This letter is from uh, is on the subject of women ministers. All right. It said in the book of Matthew, in the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-seven and verse fifty-six, it references women teaching. It does. That's what they say. Matthew what? Matthew twenty-seven and verse fifty-six. All right. Let's get the scripture that they pitched at me. I want to dive into it and strip it bare. Amen. Let's see what can we pull out of there. They say Jesus made reference to women ministers teaching. Women teaching. Teaching. What else the letter say? Have you taken this subject out of context? All right, let's see the context of it. Let's see what it consists of. Come on, William. Matthew 27, we'll begin at verse 55. All right. And many women were there beholding a far off. Yes. Which followed Jesus from Galilee, <laughs> ministering unto him. Many mm. men. Take your time. Many women were doing what? Ministering unto him. Preaching. They were following him, doing what? Ministering unto him. <laughs> Now, <laughs> let's break this down. Viewer, who do you think Jesus needed to teach him? My Lord. The book plainly states Jesus of Nazareth knew all things. All things. That's right. That's right. Amen. So why would you think Jesus need ministers or women to teach him. Yes, they ministered unto him. But how? Ah, that's right. Your problem is you lack the term ministry, the meaning of the term. Right. Now, I have a host of secretaries through America and foreign countries. Amen. That minister unto me. That's right. That's right. That's right. Am I right? I said. That's right. But not one preach That's it. unto me. That's right. What do you mean, minister? Minister simply means to serve, to help. That's right. Help those women. Let me show you what it means. Come on, Williams. In Philippians chapter four and verse three. Are you ready, script? Ready. Listen to what the book says. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse 3. What is it? And I entreat thee also. <laughs> How? True yoke fellow. What did brother Paul say? Help those women. Help those women. Which help help those women. Help help those women. Those women. Which labored with me. Which labor with me. In the gospel. You see these women here? All of them labor with me. Right. That's right. Right. It's good. It's good. Certainly. That's right. right. Some are doctors. Amen. Some are lawyers. That's right. Amen. Some are accountants. That's right. Some are teachers. That's right. But none of them are God sent, God anointed, God instructed preachers. That's right. Why? God said, out of the mouth of Apostle Paul in the 14th chapter of Corinthians, Paul, born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, set under the feet of a Pharisee, a doctor of the law named Gamaliel, who right. taught Paul according to the perfect manner of the law, the ways of Musa or the ways of Moses. But on his journey to Damascus, wisdom came down from heaven in the form of a light and stopped him and asked him, why are you persecuting me? That's right. He asked God, who are you? He said, I am Jesus whom thine persecuted. Mm -hmm. So he was led to a street called Straight, and there was a man named Ananias, a disciple and a believer of God, down there waiting to baptize Paul. Oh, yeah. Then when Paul received the Holy Ghost, he went straightway preaching that Jesus was the Christ, right. because the light that came to him gave him the intelligence and the characteristics of God. That's right. Yeah. So now Paul, being a divine, God called, God sent, God anointed, God instructed, God made, God taught, heavenly appointed and heavenly authorized, Go ahead. apostle, Go ahead. an ambassador to have permission to represent all heaven. That's Amen. right. Amen. That's right. He was an ambassador with the ability That's and right. divine permission Amen. to represent all heaven. 
That's right. right. Angels were forbidden to contradict the man Paul. That's yeah. right. Jabril and Michael and Raphael were forbidden to contradict the message that God gave Paul. That's yeah. right. So now Paul stops down in Corinth Amen. in the midst of a journey, and an epistle is written here. First Corinthians 14 and verse 34. Listen, begin at verse 33. At verse 33. What is it? For God is not the author God. of confusion. Is not the author of confusion, but of peace. But of peace, meaning, but of cooperation. That, that, yeah. That's what that means. That's right. Yeah. See, when he said, but of peace in all the churches, cooperation right. introduces That's peace. Right. That's right. Listen at this. For God is not the author of confusion, but what? But of peace. But of cooperation. As in all churches of the saints. And all churches of the saints. Let your women. All right, all right, all right. Let your women. Keep silent. Keep silent. In the churches. In the churches. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. Now hold it. Amen. It isn't talking about praying. No. Hannah prayed. That's right. And Brother Eli thought she was drunk. That's, That's right. right. Because he saw her mouth moving. That's right. But didn't hear no sound. No sound. That's right. It isn't talking about prophesying. No, sir. Amen. For Deborah and Anna were prophetess. That's right. That's right. It isn't talking about being in position of politics. No. That's right. Because Sheba was a political figure. That's right. If you were queen, you was a political figure because you have ruled over a kingdom. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead. Glory to God. Amen. Right. It isn't talking about bearing witness to the truth. Amen. For the Bible says, say amen to the, the truth. truth. That's right. Amen. It isn't talking about praying for the book teaches us be instant in prayer. It isn't right. talking about singing. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. So now you got to find out what is it what is it that God Amen. advises That's right. the woman Amen. to be silent about? That's right. He's silent in reference to the women teaching, teaching. in the form That's right, sir. of usurping authority over the man and trying to break down scriptural law to God's people. That's right. Why do I use the term in the form? Give me 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. Amen. Then give me the third chapter of the book of Titus. That's right. Or rather the second chapter second of chapter. the book of Titus. I want to balance out the women can teach Wonderful. and I want to balance out they can't teach. 1 Timothy Wonderful. chapter 2 and at verse 12. Listen. But I suffer not a woman to teach. But what? Nor to usurp authority over the man. All right, woman. Amen. If you can preach, mm -hmm. what title can you hold? That's right. That's right. That's right. Can you be a bishop? Amen. The Bible said a man Amen. that desired the office of a bishop, That's right. he desired the office of a good work. That's That's right. Right. He must be the husband of one wife. He didn't right. save the wife of one husband. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Can you be a female deacon? It is no such thing as a deaconess. That's right. But it is such thing as a female mess. That's right. But not a deaconess. Amen. That's right. I listen to the old troublemaker. Amen. That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Can you be an elder? Nope. You cannot be an elder and preach the gospel. No. Amen. No. You don't have no female elders preaching the gospel in the book. That's right. right. Can you be a prophet? No. no. A prophet is a man, man. a prophetess True. is a woman. So yes, you can be a prophetess, right. which is given to a woman to prophesy. That's right. What is prophecy? Prophecy is when a woman is divinely moved Amen. by the God of creation to foretell an event that's going to come in a city or a town or a village or to a person or to a people. That's right. And when she prophesied or relate that divine message given to her That's by right. God himself, she relate that message. She's not breaking down the scriptures. That's She's right. not itemizing God's law. That's she right. come by God permission to give you prophecy. Right. Thus saith the Lord, you shall die in the year 2010. And she sits down. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Sir. But when she get up, I want to use for a text today. Amen. <laughs> oh, how David has slain the giant Goliath. That's right. That's right, sir. All you Go see, ahead, That's what right. the Lord. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Go ahead, folks. Let's keep it scriptural. That's, That's right. right. Keep it scriptural. So this gang of women that you refer to in the book uh -huh. who followed Jesus, 
Name one. Name one. Preacher. Jesus declared that was a preacher. That's right. Now let me give you revelation and make you think of something that none of you preachers ever thought of. Who believe in women preachers? Amen. To prove to you that there was no women preachers in Jesus' day. Go ahead. Because the only area of ministry That's right. that was available who Jesus was making were apostles. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. That's right. That's the only office That's right. that he was making That's right. during his time of ministry. That's right. Where apostles, prophets was already here. That's right. Amen. Before the Messiah walked earth. That's right. Because the prophets represent the former house. That's right. So he had to establish the latter house. That's right. In order for the prophet Haggai words to be exact, that the latter house shall be greater than the former house. So the substance of the former house was for the prophets, they were here. Go ahead. That's right. That's Amen. why Jesus bared title prophet. An apostle. That's, That's right. right. Both. Because he represents the end. That's right. Hey, brother. Of the former house. Amen. And represent the beginning right. of the latter house. Amen. Right. Do you understand? That's Amen. right. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. God never called. Never. Never, never had. Never, never will. Call and send a woman to preach the gospel. Amen. If your mama is a woman preacher, Amen. your mama is a liar. That's right. If your grandmama is a woman preacher, That's right. your grandmama is a liar. Amen. Hey, hey, bishop, hey, bishop, elder, if your wife, if she's your assistant pastor or a preacher, Amen. then your wife, you're sleeping with a liar. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. Go ahead. That's the truth. Do you hear what the book says? But I suffer not a woman to teach. What else? Nor to yeah. usurp authority over the man. But what? But to be in silence. But why? For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Then? And Adam was not deceived. But what? But the woman being deceived was in the trance. All right, now, let me show you where the scriptures give women permission to teach and who they are allowed to teach. Amen. In the book of Titus chapter 2, beginning Be at verse 3. Give chapter and verse again. Titus chapter 2. And we'll begin at verse... All right, my television viewers, I want you to get this and look at it good. I have dealt with this subject. I get thousands of letters about this one subject. Amen. Someone said, why you always deal with it? Because you women ain't got sense enough to sit down. That's right. Huh? That's right. As long as you're up, I got to pull the word down. Amen. Huh? Amen. Come on, son, let's have it. Titus chapter 2 and at verse 3. Women preachers and remarriage to divorce are one of the two largest subjects in the world. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. I got some women following me now that were women preachers. Right. But they were resurrected. Right. Came out the pulpit. That's right. Now, besides trying to preach from the Bible, they come and follow us in the Bible. Amen. All right, viewer, viewer, get your get your Bible. Get your Bible. Get your Bible. That goes for you too, woman. That's right. Get your Bible. Don't let your bacon burn. Now. Amen. All right, come on, Dan. This letter is from uh, is on the subject of women ministers. All right. It said in the book of Matthew, in the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-seven. In verse 56, it references women teaching. It does. That's what they say. Matthew what? Matthew 27 and verse 56. All right, let's get the scripture that they pitched at me. I want to dive into it and strip it bare. Amen. Let's see what can we pull out of there. They say Jesus made reference to women ministers. Women. Teaching. Women teaching. Teaching. What else the letter say? Have you taken this subject out of context? All right, let's see the context of it. Let's see what it consists of. Come on, William. Matthew 27, we'll begin at verse 55. All right. And many women were there beholding a far off. Yes. Which followed Jesus from Galilee, <laughs> ministering unto him. Mm. Many men. Take your time. <laughs> many women were doing what? Ministering unto him. Preaching. They were following him, doing what? Ministering unto him. <laughs> Now, <laughs> let's break this down. Viewer, who do you think Jesus needed to teach him? My Lord. The book plainly states Jesus of Nazareth knew all things. All things. That's right. That's right. Amen. So why would you think Jesus need ministers or women to teach him. Yes, they ministered unto him. But how? Ah, that's right. Your problem is you lack the term ministry, the meaning of the term. 
Right. Now, I have a host of secretaries through America mm -hmm. and foreign countries mm -hmm. that minister unto me. That's right. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. But not one preach That's it. unto me. That's right. What do you mean minister? Minister simply means to serve, to help. That's right. Help those women. Let me show you what it means. Come on, Williams. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse 3. Are you ready, three. script? I'm ready. Listen to what the book says. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse 3. What is it? And I entreat thee also. How? True yoke fellow. What did brother Paul say? Help those women. Help those women. Which help, help those women. Help helps women. Those women. Which labored with me. Which labor with me. In the gospel. You see these women here? All of them labor with me. That's right. That's right. That's good. That's good. Certainly. That's right. Some are doctors. Amen. Some are lawyers. That's right. Amen. Some are accountants. That's right. That's right. Some are teachers. That's right. That's right. But none of them are God sent, God anointed, God instructed preachers. That's right. That's right. Why? That's right. God said, out of the mouth of Apostle Paul mm -hmm. in the 14th chapter of Corinthians, Corinthians, Paul, born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, set under the feet of a Pharisee, a doctor of the law named Gamaliel, who right. taught Paul, according to the perfect manner of the law, the ways of Musa or the ways of Moses. But on his journey to Damascus, wisdom came down from heaven in the form of a light and stopped him and asked him, why are you persecuting me? That's yeah. right. He asked God, who are you? He said, I am Jesus whom thine persecuted. So he was led to a street called Straight, and there was a man named Ananias, a disciple and a believer of God, down there waiting to baptize Paul. Oh, yeah. Then when Paul received the Holy Ghost, he went straightway preaching that Jesus was the Christ, right. because the light that came to him gave him the intelligence and the characteristics of God. That's right. Yeah. So now Paul, being a divine God called, God sent, God anointed, God instructed, God made, God taught, heavenly appointed and heavenly authorized Go ahead. apostle, Go ahead. an ambassador that had permission to represent all heaven. That's Amen. right. Amen. That's right. He was an ambassador with the ability That's and right. divine permission Amen. to represent all heaven. That's, That's right. right. Angels were forbidden to contradict the man Paul. That's Amen. right. Jabril and Michael and Raphael were forbidden to contradict the message that God gave Paul. That's Amen. right. So now Paul stops down in Corinth Amen. in the midst of a journey and an epistle is written here. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 34. Listen, begin at verse 33. At verse 33. What is it? For God is not the author God of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. But of peace. But of peace, meaning, but of cooperation. That's, right. That's what that means. That's right. Amen. See, when he said, but of peace in all the churches, cooperation right. introduces peace. That's, That's right. right. Listen at this. For God is not the author of confusion. But what? But of peace. But of cooperation. As in all churches of the saints. And all churches of the saints. Let your women. All right, all right, all right. Let your women. Keep silent. Keep silent. In the churches. In the churches. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. Now hold it. Amen. It isn't talking about praying. No. Hannah prayed. That's right. And brother Eli thought she was drunk. That's, That's right. right. Because he saw her mouth moving. That's right. But didn't hear no sound. No That's right. It isn't talking about prophesying. Yes, sir. Amen. For Deborah and Anna were prophetess. That's right. That's right. It isn't talking about being in position of politics. Man. That's right. Because Sheba was a political figure. That's right. If you were queen, you was a political figure because you have ruled over a kingdom. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead. Glory That's to God. Right. Amen. That's right. It isn't talking about bearing witness to the truth. Amen. For the Bible says, say amen to the, the truth. truth. That's yeah. right. Amen. It isn't talking about praying. For the book teaches us, be instant in prayer. It isn't right. talking about singing. Go ahead, right. Go ahead. So now you got to find out what is it what is it that god amen advises that's right. the woman amen. to be silent about that's right he's silent in reference to the women teaching, teaching. 
in the form That's right, sir. of usurping authority over the man and trying to break down scriptural law to God's people. That's right. Why do I use the term in the form? Give me 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. Amen. They give me the third chapter of the book of Titus. That's right. Or rather the second chapter second of the chapter. book of Titus. I want to balance out the women can teach Wonderful. and I want to balance out they can't teach. Wonderful. First Timothy Wonderful. chapter 2 and at verse 12. Listen. But I suffer not a woman to teach. But what? Nor to usurp authority over the man. All right, woman. Amen. If you can preach, mm -hmm. what title can you hold? That's right. That's right. That's right. Can you be a bishop? Amen. The Bible said a man, man that desired the office of a bishop, That's right. he desired the office of a good work. That's That's right. Right. He must be the husband of one wife. He didn't save the wife of one husband. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Can you be a female deacon? It is no such thing as a deaconess. That's right. But it is such thing as a female mess. That's right. But not a deaconess. Amen. That's right. I right, listen to the old troublemaker. Amen. That's right. Amen. Ahead, Can you be an elder? Nope. You cannot be an elder and preach the gospel. No. Amen. No. You don't have no female elders preaching the gospel in the book. That's right. right. Can you be a prophet? No. no. A prophet is a man, man. a prophetess True. is a woman. So yes, you can be a prophetess, right. which is given to a woman to prophesy. That's right. What is prophecy? Prophecy is when a woman is divinely moved by the God of creation to foretell an event that's going to come in a city or a town or a village or to a person or to a people. That's right. And when she prophesied or relate that divine message given to her That's by right. God himself, she relate that message. She's not breaking down the scriptures. That's She's right. not itemizing God's law. That's she right. come by God's permission to give you prophecy. Right. Thus saith the Lord, you shall die in the year 2010. And she sits down. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Sir. But when she get up, I want to use for a text today. Amen. <laughs> oh, how David has slain the giant Goliath. That's right. That's right, sir. All you Go see, ahead, Go ahead. That's what right. the Lord. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Go ahead, Paul. Let's keep it scriptural. That's, That's right. right. So this gang of women that you refer to in the book uh -huh. who follow Jesus, Amen. name one, name one. Preacher. Jesus declared that was a preacher. That's right. right. Now let me give you revelation and make you think of something that none of you preachers ever thought of who believe in women preachers. Amen. To prove to you that there was no women preachers in Jesus' day. Go ahead. Because the only area of ministry That's right. that was available, mm. who Jesus was making, were apostles. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's Amen. right. That's the only office That's right. that he was making That's right. during his time of ministry. That's right. That's right. Where our pastors, prophets, was already here. That's right. Amen. Before the Messiah walked earth. That's right. Because the prophets right. represent the former house. That's right. So he had to establish the latter house. That's Amen. right. In order for the prophet Haggai words to be exact, that the latter house shall be greater than the former house. So the substance of the former house was for the prophets, they were here. Go ahead. That's right. That's Amen. why Jesus bared title prophet. And apostle. That's, That's right. right. Both. Because he represents the end That's right. of brother. the former house Amen. and represent the beginning right. of the latter house. Amen. That's right. Do you understand? That's Amen. right. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. God never called. Never. Never have. Never, never will. Call and send a woman to preach the gospel. Amen. If your mama is a woman preacher, right. your mama is a liar. That's right. If your grandmama is a woman preacher, That's right. your grandmama is a liar. Amen. Hey, hey, Bishop, hey, Bishop, Elder, if your wife, if she's your assistant pastor or a preacher, Amen. then your wife, you're sleeping with a liar. That's right. 
That's right. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. Go ahead. That's the truth. Do you hear what the book says? But I suffer not a woman to teach. What else? Nor to usurp authority over the man. But what? But to be in silence. But why? For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Then? And Adam was not deceived. But what? But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. All right, now, let me show you where the scriptures give women permission to teach and who they are allowed to teach. Amen. In the book of Titus chapter 2, beginning give, at verse 3. Give chapter and verse again. Titus chapter 2, and we'll begin at verse All three. right, my television viewers, I want you to get this and look at it good. I have dealt with this subject. I get thousands of letters about this one subject. Amen. Someone said, why you always deal with it? Because you women ain't got sense enough to sit down. That's right. Huh? That's right. As long as you're up, I got to pull the word down. Amen. Huh? Amen. Come on, son, let's have it. Titus chapter 2 and at verse 3. Women preachers and remarriage to divorce are one of the two largest subjects in the world. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. I got some women following me now that were women preachers. Right. But they were resurrected. Right. Came out the pulpit. That's right. Now, besides trying to preach from the Bible, they come and follow us in the Bible. Amen. All right, viewer, viewer, get your, get your Bible. Get your Bible. Get your Bible. That goes for you too, woman. That's right. Get your Bible. Don't let your bacon burn now. Turn your, turn your, turn your pan down. That's turn right. it down. God, turn your pan down now and just get your Bible. That's right. Come up to the kitchen table and sit and follow me. That's it. You got your Bible? Amen. Titus chapter 2. God, give you time. Go ahead. Titus chapter 2, we'll begin at verse 3. Come on, William. The aged women likewise. Aged women, older women, mothers That's right. in God. The Elect age. ladies, if you will. Amen. All right. The aged women likewise. Uh-huh. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Now. Holiness is a lifestyle. Yes, sir. Amen. God demands that you behave holiness in a holy manner. That's right. All right. Not false accusers. Not going around making false accusations. Not giving too much wine. Not giving too much. Too much wine. Too much wine. Too much wine. Now we gotta find. When it says too much, too much. that gives space where she can have some. That's, That's right. right. But now I just can't leave it just like that. No, no, no. I can't leave it like that now. No way. I, did you hear what I said? That's uh, right. Yeah. That's right. Cause see, if I let the brother keep reading, one of you nick picking viewers will say, oh, "What about the too much? Yeah. What about the too much?" I'm done. I'm, I'm, I got an aged woman now looking at me with the bottle. That's right. That's you, you ain't touched that passage, Janice. All right, Grandma, and I'm about to get it right now. Right now, amen. Right now. Right now. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now, glory to God. Amen. When the book says, Not giving too much wine. Not giving too much wine. You got to find where in scriptural law right. is wine permitted. That's right. Now, That's right. wine is permitted when we serve the Lord's Supper. That's what the Bible said. They sup. They ain't walking around just drinking up everything. Oh, right. They Sup. That's right. Now, the other place in the Bible, in the book of Timothy, where wine is permitted, the book says, for your stomach's sake. That's right. Is that right? That's, right. That's what the Bible teaches. First Amen. Timothy chapter 5 and verse 23. First Timothy 5, 23 says, Drink no longer water. Drink no longer water. But use a little wine. How much? A little wine. A fifth. A little wine. A quart. A little wine. A gallon. A little wine. A glass full. A little wine. A whole can of booze. A little wine. Four. Amen. That's right. All right, Grandma, put your bottle down. That's right. That's right. Amen. Do you hear what the Bible says? But use a little wine. For what? For thy stomach's sake. Why? And thine often infirmity. So, my television viewer, that's the time where God permits the woman to use wine for her stomach's sake and her often infirmity, but she must fall under the scriptural text of a little. Little. That's right. That's right. Now, when you find yourself sweating until wine is coming out of your pores, you have went beyond a little. That's right. When you find yourself getting hazy and daisy and glazy, That's right. you have used more than a little. That's yeah. right. Oh, you get what I'm telling you? Amen. All right, come on, Williams. Let's go now and finish up. Back in Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. I want to show you where women are allowed to teach and who they should teach. That's not, not given to much wine. Yes. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things, but who are they allowed to teach? That they may they teach the young women. Now, mothers, the old, experienced, God-fearing, righteous mother. Amen. Teach the young women what? That they may teach the young women to be sober. You didn't say teach the whole church. No, no, sir. no, 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 no. no sir. 
Teach the young women how to be sober, yeah. how to be stable-minded. That's right. Have a foundation in your mind. That's right. You're not unstable so easy. You're not so mentally flexible. That's it. Until you don't jump at every two-legged dog that cross your path. That's right. You have some stability. You know how to be focused. That's right. You can't be lured with a dollar or lured with a good car or lured with a good grade of hair. That's right. You have some sober. stability. Amen. You are sober. Sober. Come on, sir. To love their husband. Love your husband if you got one. That's right. If you got one, love him. Treat him good. Right. Respect right. him. Amen. And at the same time, husband, you respect her if you want respect in return. That's right. Listen. To love their children. Love your children. When the age woman is teaching the sister how to love her children, the teaching of disciplining your children also come into play. That's right. So you teach how to love your children, how to discipline your children. And woman, if your husband discipline your children, don't you come to defend your children and you know your children is wrong. That's right. If you disagree with your husband methodology of discipline, don't ever bring your grievance to your husband in the presence of your children because all you do is teach your child confusion and now you're teaching them how to take sides. That's right. So you settle your grievances or your disagreement in the way your husband have chastised the child out of the presence of the children. That's right. Listen. To be discreet. Teach the young girl how to be discreet. Amen. Right. How to conduct, be discreet. Want to be no loud, boastful, crazy woman. That's right. How to be discreet, be ladylike. Mm -hmm. That's right, Pastor. Not masculine. Amen. Most of these things they claim they women preacher act like a man. That's right. Walk like a man, act like a man, talk like a man. That's right. That's right. You would think they came from uh, Dykesville. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I say you have to think they came from Dykesville. That's right. See, so you, you, got, you got Danville, you got many places, uh, Holmesville, Flower Town, and all that. But uh, you got a place, uh, Dykesville. Amen. You understand? That's right. And, and in Dykesville, go ahead, go ahead. Brother. Men act like, or rather, women act like men. Amen. And now, let me tell you something. And if you look at this spirit that's in women preachers, they masculine like men. And most of them husbands are henpecks. Amen. Man ain't got a voice in his house and he ain't got a voice at church. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I say he don't have a voice. Listen, a man that's a real man and you're going to walk around and don't have a voice in your house, Amen. you're not a man. That's right. Amen. Now, when I say have a voice in your house, that don't mean your wife can't say nothing. That's right. Bring it on. And that don't mean that give you the right to cuss your wife out. Yeah. And that don't give you the right to physically abuse your wife. That's right. That's not what make you a man. That's right. If your criteria of a man that's slapping your wife, beating your wife, kicking your wife, cussing your wife out, you don't know what a man is. In yeah. fact, you are less yeah. than a man. That's right. That's right. Even if you pay all the bills, That's right. you're still less than a man. Amen. Because there's more in life than bill paying. That's right. Amen. Am I right, I said? Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, William. To Amen. be discreet. To be discreet. Chase. Chase. Keepers at home. She know how to keep her house in order. That's right. You don't That's raise right. daughters to try to be their big sister. You raise a daughter and be that girl's mother. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. You don't allow your daughters to give you word for word, mouth to mouth. Amen. You young daughters, you're not born into the world to live under your mother and father roof to tell them when you're going to do anything. That's you right. ask, yes. can I have company? That's right. Can I go to the store? That's right. Can I Amen. go to the mall? Amen. Can I talk to her? Amen. No, you cannot. Talk to him. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right, sir. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. My God, I can take that to a whole other telecast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Williams. Keepers at home. Know how to keep your house in order. That's good. Right. What? Good. Be a good woman. That's right. Good women are just as easy to come by as it is a cat that wear a derby and perform for the burlesque show. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hard to find a good woman. Oh. That's, a, that's a rare jewel. That's oh, right. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's like digging in the earth for a thousand years to find a particular size diamond. That's, that's right. right. A good woman is not a materialist. She don't love you when you just have money. That's right. 
She loves you from the heart when the love is legit. That's, That's right. right. If you never have money, she's yeah. not a materialist. She's not always begging you. When are you going to give me this? When are you going to give me that? When are you going to give me the other? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Good woman don't mind doing for a good man. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. But good man know how to treat the good woman. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Amen. That's Listen. Right. Obedient to their own husbands. Obey your own husband. That's, That's right. right. Obey your own husband. Sometimes men have a complaint that their wives are hard headed How are you treating her? That's right, yeah. That's right. How are you treating her? That's right, man. Are you causing her to be a rebel? That's right. Are you creating rebellion in your own house? That's right. Amen. How are you treating the woman? That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You slap the woman, she gonna start slapping back. That's oh, right. Yeah. You push the woman, she gonna start pushing and kicking back. That's right. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. There's no maybe so about it. That's right. You intimidate the woman, you keep it up, she gonna wake up from that intimidation and start trying to intimidate back. Oh yeah. Right. I would not be slapping and kicking the woman that cooked my food. No That's way. Right. No, sir. Am I right, I said? Amen. 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 I will not That's right. be smacking and kicking the woman who's going to prepare my food. That's right, no, sir. No. No, no. no. That's not, That's not intelligent. That's, That's right. right. That's not intelligent. That's right. Why use a fool in a good food? Amen. Amen. Come on, Will. Obedient to their own husbands. Now, this is what the aged mothers teach the young sisters how to do these things, mm -hmm. that the word of God be not blasphemed. That's yeah. it. So the scripture that you read and the brother read in the book of Matthew, mm -hmm. where the women that followed Jesus minister, they simply mean they served. That's right. I show you a woman in the Bible that served Jesus when she washed her feet and wiped it with her hair. With her hair, right. that's right. She was ministering to him. That's, that's right. right. Huh? She right. was ministering because the apostles was ready to jump on her. Jump That's right. But they wasn't going to jump on her because she was preaching. No, no. They was jumping on her because they felt as though the oil she was using was yeah. wasteful. That's, That's right. right. That's what that was. That's, That's right. right. But she was ministering unto Jesus. That's, That's right. right. She served him. Served him. That's all that is. Amen. All right. Next letter. Jamaica West Indies again. All right. This person says, my husband was baptized. My husband was baptized in the titles Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Being that the husband is to lead, what can be done? If the husband is the leader? Yes, what can be done? Well, you can encourage him and talk to him in reference to his baptism. Mm -hmm. And if he becomes stubborn, you know, as many of us men can be, make reference to a preacher recommend recommend that's right a preacher right. recommend a preacher in fact tune them into this broadcast that's right that's, that's right. right if your husband was baptized hey 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 is you got a name there sophia 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 torton sophia torton 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 yes where from from jamaica just jamaica all right jamaica i don't know what part sophia let me talk to you Amen. pretty sure there's a whole lot of sophias in jamaica <laughs> But you know who you are. That's right. Now, sir, your wife is concerned about your baptism because you're baptized wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to get upset now. Don't get upset. Let's have a chat. I'm talking to you all the way in Jamaica now. Amen. Sophia, get your husband. This is your hour. This is your life. That's right. Sophia, go get your husband. That's right. <laughs> okay. let's, have a, let's have a little sure. rap session. Sophia, your husband, and PJ, let's have a rap session. Sir, uh, your wife, don't get upset now, just sit down, just be cool. Your wife is kind of concerned in reference to your baptism, sir. She see that you were baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. You are the leader of the house, you are the man of the house, that's true. But please, let us not assume because you are a man that you're always right. That's right. Now, if your wife, Sophia, is baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, then I want to tell you that if she's talking to you about your baptism, she's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she's right. You are baptized wrong. That's right. What did you say? You said you obey Jesus. No, you didn't. That's right. You did not obey Jesus. No, Let me show you what Jesus said in Matthew 28, 19. Matthew let, let, hold, let, mm -hmm. Chill out now. You know, don't get upset. You know, don't right. go argue with her because she wrote me That's and right. now I'm talking to you. That's right. That's don't right. get upset and don't go blasting her when the program come off. Go off because I'll be back next week. That's, That's right. right. That's right. 
Now, listen at this. Matthew 28 and verse 19. Matthew 28 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. All right, Jamaica, I want to teach you now. That's mm -hmm. right. Baptizing them. In the name. In what? In the name. In what? In the name. In what? In the name. In the N A N me. In the name of? Of the Father. And? And of the Son. And? And of the Holy Ghost. Brother, husband of Sophia. That's right. <laughs> what is the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? What is the name? Now, sir. I'm a father, I'm a son, I'm a husband. That's right. I'm a brother, I'm a minister, That's right. I'm a boxer, I'm a wrestler. Yes, sir. I'm all these things. That's right. But I have a name. That's right. right. So if I tell someone to do something in my name, That's right. uh, if I give someone a check for doing work, I got to sign my name. Amen. That's it. That's right. I can't put down there brother. That's right. That's right. Or just father. That's Amen. right. Or husband. That's right. You know, because they can take it to the bank, mm -hmm. but the power, the quickening power, the resurrection power for that check That's right. is in my name. That's, That's right. right. So, sir, what is the name of the father? Mm -hmm. Son. Holy Ghost. Notice Jesus did not say name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. That's right. It was one name, one name that three titles is attached to, just like my name is Jennings, but the title husband, father, and son That's is right. attached to me. That's right. Make it plain. Sir. God have the title Father. Oh. Father. Mm -hmm. father means the originator oh. of creation. That's right. right. Father of creation. That's right. The originator of creation. That's right. His flesh right. bears the title son. 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 What do you mean his flesh? Mm -hmm. Because the flesh of the Messiah was created by God. That's so right. he is the son of God. God owned that flesh. And within that flesh was the characteristics of God. That's so right. after God created the flesh, he gave the flesh his name, his name. to properly identify That's right. the flesh. That's, That's right. right. That's why the flesh took on the name Jesus. Jesus and function in the capacity of Christ. So to it, God was in, in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. And then Jesus publicized his father's name. That's, That's right. right. Holy Ghost That's right. is a title That's right. showing the function or the characteristics of God. What is God function in the capacity of Holy Ghost? Holy. Uh, keeper. Keeper. One that moves upon. Yes. Mm -hmm. One that anoints. That's right. One that fills. That's right. One that come in and cast out. Amen. That's the function Amen. That's right. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. So when you are baptized in the name, the name. Of, the of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And remember, he said baptize in it. That's right. So baptizing is a deed. That's right. And if he said do it in the name of, then in the name of mean words must be utilized when this deed yeah. is performed. That's right. So now let's get Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17 Colossians and 3, see 17. how must we perform this deed of baptism when utilizing the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. I hope you can Thank get you. this. And whatsoever ye do. Whatsoever. Whatsoever ye do. Whatsoever. You do. In word. In word. Or deed. How? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, sir, you were baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Father is a title, Son is a title, Holy Ghost is a title. And right. remember, God have a lot of titles. That's right. That's right. He's called I Am. Mm -hmm. The rock. The rock. That's right. The stone. That's right. Fire, right. holy one, right. holy one of God, right. the amen, right. amen. Shiloh, amen. seed of David, yes, sir. offspring of David, right. king. Yes, sir. He have a lot of titles. That's right. Are we to use these numerous of titles mm -hmm. along with father when we baptize? Oh, no. The prophet Zechariah teaches us. Zechariah 14 and verse 9. Begin at verse 7. At verse 7. What is it? But it shall be one day which shall be Verse known. 6. Verse 6. What is it? And it shall come to pass in that day. That what? That the light shall not be clear. Verse 5. Verse 5. What happened? And ye shall flee to the valley of the mountain. And? For the valley of the mountain shall reach unto Azel. Yeah. Ye shall flee like as ye fled before the earthquake. Yeah. In the days of Uzziah king of Judah. All right. And the Lord my God shall come. What happened? And all the saints with thee. Mm-hmm. And it shall 
shall come to pass in that day, in that, day that the light the light shall not be clear. The light, you see, this is what happened. That's there right. is some light in Jamaica. Yes, the right. problem is, it's not clear. That's, That's right. right. You have read Matthew 20 and 19. You read light, right. but it's not clear to you. That's, That's right. right. Because you read the light, but you didn't obey the light, so therefore you misunderstand the light. That's, That's right. right. So to you, the light is not clear. That's, That's right. the light shall not be clear, nor, what? nor dark. It's not dark because it is there. That's, That's right. right. But it shall be one day known to the Lord, not day nor not day night. or night. But it shall come to pass that at evening time, it shall be what? It shall be light. That means evening. Now, evening. Now it is. Let me enlarge on evening. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. When the sun is about to descend, oh, yeah. we goes into the evening. That's right. Evening mean latter time of that day. That's right. So when it says in evening time, that means in the latter days. That's right. Eh? That's, That's right. right. In the latter days. See, evening. Do you get what I'm telling you? Go That's ahead. Right. You see, evening means the latter time. That's right. The closing time. That's right. The end time That's right. of that day. Amen. So now we're in the latter time. We're in the last days. Right. We're at the end time, the latter days. That's right. That's what evening time means. That That's at right. evening time, what happened? it shall be light. And the light is clear too, brother. That's right. In the evening That's time right. it shall be light, but what? And it shall be in that day uh -huh. that living water shall go out from Jerusalem. One half. Toward the former sea. The other half. Toward the hinder sea. What about season time? In summer and winter shall it be. What's the results? And the Lord shall be king. Here it is. Glory to God. Wow. Glory to God. And again, I say glory to God. And the Lord shall, the Lord be, king shall be king over, over all the earth. Uh -huh. And what's going to happen? In that day. In what day? In that day. Now, what was the day that was being established? Evening time. Evening That's Right. Huh? That's right. In that day, Shall that means evening time. In the latter time. That's right. So when That's Jesus right. came That's here, right. he introduced the latter, times. The latter time. That's, That's right. right. Because he came with a latter day message. That's, That's right. right. He was a last day prophet. That's, That's right. right. Huh? Go ahead. He was a latter day prophet. Go ahead. The last days begin with Jesus' arrival.